Hello and welcome to another edition of Goa 365's Face to Face. Now, this is an edition which normally we take on uh, people, issues, but this is an edition, it's about a burning topic which has been happening for the past few days. In fact, it has been happening in, in the place that uh, we are going to be discussing Manipur for the past couple of months, but it, it has reached Goa and in it has reached our assembly and um, it's, it's a worrisome what do you say? It's a worrisome uh, state of affairs that we thought we would get one of the opposition uh, members uh, from up, uh, Captain Venzi Vegas. Venzi Bab, welcome to our show. I think first time officially mm -hmm. <laughs> face to face. Yeah. So to discuss the issue and what possible repercussions it could have for the country and our state also. Venzi Bab, this is very scary. This is something that should not happen and the way you know the way but today also I mean today the Supreme Court also has hit out very hard. What do you feel? What do you think? See uh, overall if you see how uh, India is moving ahead with this hukum shai of the BJP uh, is very sad. Uh, we are not talking about Gujarat riots. We are talking about Manipur what is happening now as we talk and to address that, in the last, today was the 11th day of the monsoon assembly session. In these 11 days, there has been so many instances that we have been trying to speak. I have personally given letters because my own resolution was not taken up. Then I sent a letter saying that we would want to have one minute condolence, you know, a silence, uh, one minute silence for the people of Manipur. That was not officially accepted, but then still I raised my voice when we stood up for uh, condolence for the rest who were there and we said this is also one minute for the people of Manipur who died. Then we again wanted to address during the zero hour uh, we tried to mention but you cannot do debate. Now luckily uh, in a private member resolution uh, our MLA Cruz Silva, engineer Cruz Silva has put it up and he picked up the ballot and in the ballot he came first. I see. <laughs> he came first in the ballot which means the private member resolution got listed and right. accepted. But that was supposed to be for today? That was supposed to be for Friday. Ah, for Friday. Private okay. member resolution on a Friday. But okay. it got listed during the weekend and it was supposed to be presented today which we saw that it is not getting presented for mm. Friday. And then we have to raise our voice. We cannot wait till Friday. Oh. And then we discussed this. We raised the point of order and then we told the speaker that this has happened. And in that whole discussion today all this chaos. It could have been very much, see, uh, everything has been discussed all over the world. Yes. The European Parliament has discussed, in Delhi they have discussed, people are protesting everywhere. So, what is so new in this that uh, they find it so difficult? They could have discussed this matter over there. What is happening? What do people of Goa want today? What do we as MLAs want today? Because we are representing so many people over there who come from a lot of different kind of a community. So, what do we want? We want the CM to say, कि तुम का क्रिस्तावां हिंदू मुसलमाना गोयान बियुपाची गरज ना when we want him to say कि तुम का बियुपाची गरज ना मणिपुरान जाला तो शें गोयान जाऊँ चेना when we want him to say that तो आंत बियुपाची गरज ना मुड़ना ना कतिंग सोगले बियुपाची गरज ना मुड़ी तानी फोटो इत गया लो गोयन करांग पुनः आज गोयन करांग ये आइकॉन्स जाए कि Finally, they come up with a suspension order. Suspend for what? Suspend for what? People have been dragged, women have been uh, taken out on the roads naked and they, so much of things that is happening and it is happening today as we talk and we are unable to do anything and we are trying to make everything communal here today and divert everybody's attention over there and you know. So what is going to happen? If it is Manipur, why not it could be Goa? And, and that is what the people are worried. Everyone is worried. If you see in the assembly, it is like dictatorship. Everybody is getting up and pouncing at us and you know trying to say, what are you trying to say? Do you think because we are in opposition, that means we are weak? We might be powerless, but definitely we all are fearless. Does not matter, but saying powerless is fine, but we are fearless. We all are fearless and we are not going to fear all these things. We are going to raise our voice. We are going to ensure the people of Goa hears her out and we are going to make sure that incidents like Manipur will not happen in Goa. Yeah, Vendibab, what I was saying is that 
this is something that is like see it's it's uh, we, the 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 government has been bringing up we have been watching on uh, national tv and all it has been bringing up violence like in bengal in here xyz Th that violence is political violence you know different this is something as it, like a community was directly targeted right so that is a little scary don't you think very much scary and you where see now even this last incident you were talking about this parade and naked and all the my point to which we have brought up in our stories also my point is that these nine people or eight or nine people were taken out from the police okay right two of these people were killed and two women and three women were paraded one person was was raped in public and it was on in may i think may 7th 8th or something like that now what has happened to those police are those police also fir filed because they are also directly responsible to what has happened why they didn't only why the thing that the, 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 when the video went viral everything went so that is the scary part don't you think 100% besides all these things happening in may and only when it comes out and then the prime minister speaking it out and we pushing the cm to speak we demanded on the floor of the house if mm. you see last week we demanded that the uh, chief minister speaks i went down i demanded it and then that day he spoke on the floor of the house that is immediately after one or two days after the prime minister spoke ammunitions which have been found over there have been already reported that these kind of ammunitions have been already stolen from the police mm. custody so all this is happening in front of us and we are unable to do why and why should people of india people of goa bow down to such people That's why why true. should we give governance in these people's hand why should we give governance and that too they are so confident that lok amku nivdu natle hunchu lok nivdu natta tuka anta janna ami india mun form kela you see and this is what was the need of the hour and that need of the hour was first to unite everyone because uniting everyone is so difficult and we all have seen it it has taken time everyone came then another two came then another one came everybody came on board now now india has been formed as a team team india is to save india from these people <laughs> and and this is this team india is going to make sure that the next government is not the bjp government and these people are going to know and i think that is the best thing that has to happen now fair enough we'll discuss the politics after i want this one question my thing is that this okay it has got x y z various levels like you know community being targeted possibly i don't know they want to the hills they went to the hills but some there is an allegation that the, there are a lot of minerals in the hills that's why the uh, people want to go and buy land there and pick up there but what has happened is the much wanted law and order has failed completely because see a, a person who has been there recently was was here on on our on our show a uh, former uh, dgp only goan dgp and he said that after the cops used to stop them anyway then women were stopping them and checking them out the women from one community to go forward and in the camp so the thing is that if we have a very very powerful army that everybody says that everybody all the government prime minister everybody says powerful army we can nobody and it's very if the police and the army cannot for 3 months take care of one of the owners what what exactly is the state that means i mean there has to be something underlining no don't you think what do you feel now you are a political there person is. and i am saying law and order so there is it not there, possible there for the cops and the army to sort this out within one week nothing is hidden everything is very clearly seen okay. and they don't care okay it like, is seen that yes we the government are telling the cops be silent let it happen and the cops are silent and the cops are allowing everything and do what you all want tumko jatte ko rai this is the kind of situation nothing is hidden what is hidden everything is been seen everything is exposed that yes the police is not doing anything there the police has not uh, controlled the law. not that they cannot control not that they don't have the capacity not that they don't have the thing but yes the government is putting the pressure that you don't do anything and there is only one thing if you do, uh, don't listen to them they will transfer you they will remove you from job all these kinds of things are there always in the system so it is an open thing that yes the government is instructing the police the government is instructing all the army and everyone who is over there not to bring the situation under control how much time it takes to bring a situation under control and and for a country like us 
for a country like us where where we are talking about uh, being super power and we are talking about to become uh, to make india number 1 and and we are we are unable to handle the situation in a small state like manipur so it is very much evident that these things are been planned these things are been supported by the government and the prime minister this is totally responsible for ensuring that this is not falling in place and they don't want this to fall in place now this is the whole thing about this government you know this is the whole thing about this government this government has always tried to be communal and that is when told and now we are facing this my generation have never seen these things happening you know when when gujarat and all happened probably we were much younger yeah, yes, you know correct. college days and you know we are now we've got we are in a better position to understand and we are seeing it we are seeing these things we are the 70s and we the 70s are today actually uh, facing this kind of things which we were hearing and which we were watching videos you know what had happened in the past today we can uh, see that today this today as we talk we don't know what has happened there you know so this kind of a situation so how are we going to how are we going to protect our own selves our friends our families our neighbors tomorrow if something happen like this see we, uh, one thing is exaggerating things and one thing is uh, speaking with fear today we we are in so much of uh, communal harmony we do not have any disharmony here we do not want to create anything it will be so difficult to you know instigate uh, a, a goan to fight against a goan so it will be very difficult for them because goan does not want to fight against a goan he might be a domicile 15 years goan or 25 years goan that does not matter nobody wants to fight against each other here but they are going to create situation and in that situation they are going to make your feelings hurt make your feelings hurt speak something against somebody's temple speak something against about somebody's church speak something against somebody's mosque and then instigate people to speak and then create fights among friends so this is what they want and in that what happens houses get burned people get killed women get raped religious institutions places of worship get demolished what are we heading for Mehdi Bab, I just want to say one thing. Now, it's a little bit of changing from the topic before I get into the politics of it. See, we like the our prime minister and our government and everybody. We say that we want to become a, a three trillion, five trillion, whatever top three, like the latest thing. Now we are going to be in the top three GDP in the next five years if he wins. He says. Now, can business be done when there is anarchy, when there is chaos, when there is see business wants status quo. It wants something, everything cool without any issue. Can it happen? You feel that it doesn't make. What is the logic of this? Just coming to power and destroying the state, or there is some logic to this whole situation? I don't know. Explain to me because you are, you know, you are in the political side of this whole thing, the, oh. and you've also been in business. You know how it is. You've been like a long time in the shipping industry. See, What is the logic of creating chaos? See, the whole thing is we are trying to bluff everyone. Photo, photo, photo. Forget bluff, kor baje. That yeh, 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 yeh. But ghora, bitor kit cholte the, India bitor kit cholte, costly chaos cholte to, kona buy rehe kuro zidne. that is the reason they do not want anybody to come to manipur that is the reason they do not want people from the us to come to india and to investigate what has happened in manipur so they want to present everything is nice who doesn't want we also want india is a growing economy these are the best years of india but rather than growing peacefully and ensuring all communities grow together why create such kind of things yeah If why that's what my point why so that that is the whole point of this the whole structure of this party who is there today and ruling india the whole structure is based on communal politics because the moment when you create communal politics there is a division and there is a hatred that is created and some of this hatred is finally then converted to votes it is been converted to votes and that is what they are always doing now after creating hatred people should realize that we will not convert it to votes although i hate you i will not do voting the way you Are, are are directing me to vote so if there is a hatred been created because of communalism people should not vote for the bjp this time and that should happen and i think it is the right time they are just winning because of splitting of votes what exactly. is happening what was and people was are not going to split vote and that is the whole reason of india being formed the formation of team india is one of the best thing so that votes are not going to get split and once these votes don't get split i think this government will and they have they are scared 
the team india has been formed and i think the, the next step is going to be they are going to try their best to break team india's unity and i think one of the attempt could be manipur we don't know what's the hidden agenda what's the hidden agenda so let us let us see let us be, uh, I, i would always like to use the word uh, let us pray but pray where you have to pray in the house or you have to pray as we talk because <laughs> places of worships are being broken so this is what is happening okay now the just some uh, latest news that the mla suspension has been reduced to 24 hours uh, yeah, we've just got the news and uh, the mla is supposed to join back at 12:30 tomorrow i don't know have you all gone and met the speaker and asked for this concession i just wanted no, to know see one thing what we have seen on the news was the, there was a statement coming up saying that uh, we have asked We have apologized. And we yes. apologize. We yes. have not apologized. Okay. And why should we apologize? Correct. We have to apologize for what? We are asking you that you have to come out with a statement that we all are going to be safe, and that you are also condemning what is happening in Manipur. We are asking you that, and we have we have to apologize because I ask you. No, we had gone there to tell the speaker. See what this is happening is wrong. Why have you done this? It was not required. you know the and and that is what we went to make him understand that this was not required to do it this way not to apologize no we did not go to apologize and why will we apologize apologize for what? there should be a reason for apologizing okay. today was education there so much to be exposed Discussed. in education yeah. so much things to be exposed there so much to be exposed tomorrow so why should we apologize actually you're talking about education little bit of the topic i was very surprised that uh, the one of the ruling mlas itself and the wife of I think the number two in, in this government. I don't know. I'm just saying, brought up the topic of Angan Wadi's in India, and over and saying that they were in very bad condition, which was very surprising. I think, you no, know, after being in power for like ten so, months. आज गोइंकारांग कोडपा बोले कि 33 MLAs आज LAQ गलता थे. From besides V7, from the opposition, 33 of them are participating in the LAQ. BJP. De, BJP. They are asking their own government questions. <laughs> they are doing zero hours. They are doing calling attention. <laughs> they are they are in the demands. They are speaking. They are saying, "Sarkar baro, pun anganwadi salna sarki zauchi ha. Light na, rost sark na, ye na the na." So indirectly, they are only complaining against their own chief minister. Is that a court power? So what is the point in you being in power if things are not happening? That means somewhere some governance is going wrong. हुई तोरी और सरकार चुकता अन हुई तोरी और सरकार के लिए प्लेनिंग स्ट्रेटेजी सारे जाएना हुई तोरी है सरकार के लिए मोड़पो पेटर्न सारे ना जोड़पो पेटर्न सारे ना समवेर समथिंग इज मिसिंग एंड दैट इज वाई एवरीबडी इज कंप्लेनिंग इंक्लूडिंग द रूलिंग इंक्लूडिंग द रूलिंग यू थिंक यू कैन यू तुम यू यूज द वर्ड तुम एरोगेंस मिलना बिकॉज ऑफ ए थर्टी थ्री एम एल एम आई वॉट कैन यू डू यू डू आई टॉक बट दिस one thing could possibly be because and the ruling dispensation is 100% thank sure hai uh, ek congress uh, uh, candidate gailo notan uh, bjp gailo dalna rg gatli aap gatli magir uh, tmc gatli so on the division of vote look what happened you know they will win so that is probably why that arrogance is coming saying <laughs> whatever it is we are going to get all this it's not only, it's not only in goa it's like for example even in a place like up where last time and the bjp got almost 80 seats even there division of votes even in a state like this probably besides gujarat even gujarat even there division of votes is what what allowed them to win so much you you see in delhi assembly swept but in uh, lok sabha it went to the so is that somehow going to change or by the time we come back in 24 to march again or is it now survival also of the opposition because the way the government is going it's going to i think put the entire <laughs> opposition <laughs> behind bars i don't know i'm just saying no, just no, making a general see, statement uh, on this ek ek nu munya ki thor uttu to kanna pun butta so it's not that you can always keep flying high you will get drowned So if your arrogance goes too high, if your ego goes too high, and it is already right. gone, you can see people like uh, Goa Foundation has been mentioned in the <laughs> assembly. Ah, uh, with regards to tigers, people like Mr. Dean De Cruz. See, people who have contributed so much to Goa, who have got so much respect. So there has been, you know, straight blunt statements made. Kithe, kithe chalna. 
वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन टूडे वाई हम तो ये तो एरोगेंस बट एक चिंतपा जाए हिंग लेफ्ट आर कि हाँ नू ये पंप जत्ते ये कंट्रोला को ना ये लेफ्ट आर पंप जत्ते बंद को जापा सकता मुगेले जापा सकता तू गेले जापा सकता को जापा सकता नो बडी हेज कंट्रोल सो ये सामाड़पा जाए सगले नहीं सो दीस हेज नो कंट्रोल कित पैसे आसो तू कड़े कित तू राजा जाऊ सो समन इज टेकिंग कंट्रोल ऑफ दीस सो दैट पर्सन यू कैनॉट मेक मोकरी ऑफ सो दैट पर्सन यू कैनॉट मेक मोकरी ही इज मॉनिटरिंग एंड येस तुझान फोटोपा जता पुन सदा फोटोपा जाएना समवे डाउन द लाइन समथिंग हेज टू हेपन विच वील हेपन एंड आई एम शुअर देर इज अ स्पिरिच्युअल पॉवर विच एवरीबडी बिलीव्स इन एंड येस एंड इन सायन्स ऑल्सो इफ यू इफ वन पर्सन किप्स सेईंग एक सत्र लाख लोक दिशा एक पाट समझ मुड़े हम पाड़ पड़ो ये सरकार पाड़ पड़ो अ एक पाटी सत्र लाख लोक दिशा जैसे मैं दिता ये जाऊँ हाँ ओके मोर देन दैट गेटिंग टू मोर प्रैक्टिकल इश्यूज पॉलिटिकली वील दी ऑपोजिशन एटलिस्ट यू नो इज इट दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट फॉरगेट अबाउट आई नो जॉइनिंग टुगेदर इज ऑलमोस्ट इम्पॉसिबल यूनिटी बट सम स्ट्रैटेजिक सॉर्ट ऑफ प्लैनिंग फॉर द नेक्स्ट इलेक्शन एंड मे बी फॉर द इवन फॉर द मोस्टली फॉर लोकसभा इलेक्शन ती स्ट्रैटेजी लेको कि फाइन हुए स्ट्रांग हियर देर इज Talks like that going on. I'm, I know I'm talking at a local level, but is it there in the minds of of the opposition? See, one thing is we are a national party. Correct. So nationally, uh, the formation of India has already happened. The formation of Team India has happened, and so Team India is now going to ensure that this formation, which has happened for the Lok Sabha, I N D I, I N D I, mm. Team I N D I has formed in order to ensure that we make an impact. together yes. unitedly okay. regard to lok sabha okay so it is already in place now we have to see how do we discuss with the local parties which are there since we are national parties our decision is already being working out okay. so we have already come on one platform there are local parties locally there are regional parties now it is a matter of time that discussions will happen with them and make them understand and see what is their opinion where local politics is concerned where their say is concerned and where they are contribution in the assembly and i'm sure it will happen because at the end of the day everybody but basically you're saying that the talk has already started that's what you're saying yes because team indi has been formed okay so the talk has started and we always crossed the first stage you know yes, yes. unity has yeah. been happened and it crossed the first stage so in goa there are only two national parties right congress and aap i'm um, three bjp congress and aap no yes tmc uh, is not No is, is, is no longer it is right now uh, ncp, NCP is, is also no longer yeah congress and the aam aadmi party is uh, in opposition in and bjp is in yes so, ruling so two two major parties uh, which are there uh, as part of the national uh, system we have come together on on the nationalist and yes i think uh, since congress and aam aadmi party has come together as indi the rest we are just waiting for how to mm. move ahead and what is the pattern we have to use And I think things should follow. You all have started working for the. See, BJP has started full swing uh, working for the. You know, Lok Sabha has. Up started. No, see. Uh, no, Aam Aadmi Party is all about volunteer base. Mm. Uh, our continuous process is always there with discussion with volunteers. And our style and our voters are the silent voters. Mm. It's not that we do dharnas and everything round the year to show people. No, because. our people convinced we get convinced we get things done we make sure that the following happens and these people are all silent voters yes we started in goa with the campaign saying that give us an opportunity amke ek chance diye ami bodol korun dakhoitle tumka ami delhi kel te bashe nam dakhoitle mun ami sango nam bito sale aaj ami proudly sangpa tam kore ki o jo tum am chance dila am aaj banalyant ani velyant bodol korun dakhopa comes kela eat banalyant एयात वेल्यात आणि आम बदल केला तो चुयात देर हॅज बीन अ बिग चेंज इन बेनावलीम टुडे वीव डन अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स डिफरंट इट मे नॉट बी ऑल इम्पॅक्ट फॉर द होल ऑफ गोवा बट इट हॅज मेड अन इम्पॅक्ट फॉर द पीपल ऑफ बेनावलीम इट हॅज हेल्प अँड इफ दिस कॅन हॅपन इन बेनावलीम टुडे दॅन इट कॅन हॅपन ऑल ओव्हर गोवा अँड वी कॅन प्राऊडली से दॅट सो दिस इज हाऊ द चेंज हॅज बिगन अँड आय थिंक द चेंज हॅज टू बी रेप्लिकेटेड अँड दिस इज वॉट वी वील आस्क द पीपल मुव्हिंग अहेड ओके uh thanks vanzibab we are we are like uh, out of time it's like uh, this this is over but uh this issue yes this manipur issue has to be sorted out one way or the other and today also the supreme court has 
actually gone on and, and spoken about this. It has asked uh, six questions from the government and uh, today means Monday. So, hopefully this will be sorted out and um, see ultimately all of us are Indians. We are very proud of our country. We want our country to, uh, you know, be the best, grow up and one way and having, uh, see, who having problems in the family, it is not possible. So, yeah, having problems among Indians itself is not going to take us very far away because it will give an advantage for people from outside to create uh, fissures and, and uh, you know, problems in us. But politics is politics. You have to fight politics. You all are going to fight. BJP is going to fight. Congress is going to fight. So, hopefully, this issue is sorted out and it is a good thing that, uh, you know, the, the opposition will go because I always say, you need government, but you also need opposition. Whoever, tomorrow you all are in power, somebody else will be in opposition. So, Vajiba, uh, thank you very much uh, for coming on our show and hopefully we will be meeting next in happier circumstances at least <laughs> when you all are in the assembly. I think the, <laughs> the speaker has said that tomorrow you all can be on Tuesday at 12.30, go back to the, it's been reduced by 24 hours. We were a bit surprised that it was two days anyway. Thank you. Anything last this you want to do before I end? No, the message to the people of Goa is, is very clear. Jain ami being galta, tasle am ka zaad maetta. Jain being ami aata change gorba ji gharo za. Ita ami jain being gailne and jain temi chintlo le, tasle zaad maelna tem ka. So tem chintlo le ki BJP che being gatla. जे लोकांनी ते उदक घातले आणि दे हॅड एक्सपेक्टेड द फ्रूट आउट ऑफ दॅट सीड दे आर नॉट गेटिंग दॅट फ्रूट सो इट इज टाइम टू प्लांट अ न्यू सीड अँड इट इज प्लॅन टाइम दॅट यू नरिश अ न्यू सीड अँड ग्रो अ न्यू ट्री विच विल डेफिनेटली गिव यू सो लेट्स नॉट टू द पास्ट मिस्टेक्स लेट अस नॉट कंटिन्यू नरिशिंग दिस सीड अँड दिस प्लांट अँड दिस ट्री दॅट हॅज ग्रोन टुडे अँड विच इज नॉट गिव्हिंग अस द रिक्वायर्ड फ्रूट्स वॉट वी हॅज रिक्वायर्ड सो पीपल ऑफ गोवा इट्स टाइम टू रिअलाइज give us an opportunity we are here we are dedicated towards goa and goans at large and we are sincerely putting our efforts to ensure that you all get accountability out of what you all want to get and that is what what we are here today as amadmi party and as legislators of goa yeah. Thanks, Thank Vendi Bab. Now, Vendi Bab, we all know as a captain of a ship, but philosopher, this is a new avatar of it. Thank you. It was a pleasure. This was uh, Captain Vendi Vegas of AAP uh, speaking on Manipur and general politics moving into the Lok Sabha. Keep watching Goa 365. <laughs>